Dora is eight years old. She has an infectious smile and a gentle heart. Dora loves to read and her favorite character is Cinderella. All seems normal for this vivacious little girl until you see her today. She's currently bedridden at the Commonwealth Health Center ICU in Saipan. She's paralyzed from the neck down with a breathing tube down her throat, the only thing keeping her alive. Her condition has yet to be determined. It's a mystery that has perplexed her parents and doctors alike. Dora's mother, Jennifer Ada Sablon. She's a very uh, energetic uh, person. She's sweet. She's loving. She cares about others. And um, she just waves to anybody. She doesn't even, even though she doesn't know them, she says hi. How are you? Dora was admitted into CHC's pediatric ward on May 1st after her condition worsened. It started with pain in her legs, then numbness, then paralysis. Before long, the paralysis spread to her waist, then her arms. Within two weeks after being admitted to the pediatric ward, Dora was moved to the ICU because her ability to breathe deteriorated and her oxygen levels dropped. She was brought to the Philippines for a spinal tap, but her spine was too dry. Sablon tells PNC that there is fluid in her neck area, but doctors are reluctant to take samples from that area because of a surgical procedure she had. When Dora was one year old, she had a brain tumor removed through her neck. Sablon says doctors suspect the surgical site may have become infected, which may have contributed to her paralysis. But doctors still have no answers. The bigger problem lies within the cash-strapped CHC. For weeks, the hospital had run out of Pediasure, a nutritional supplement given to Dora through a feeding tube. But since Dora's story had come out in local media, Sablon says she's received a flurry of donations from all over the world. And it's not only the citizens here in Saipan, it's all over the world. They're all sending boxes for my daughter, Pediasure, Pampers, baby wipes, and I'm very thankful for that. It's very touching because they're inspired by my daughter, how strong she is. Sablon's husband is incarcerated and she's unable to work because she has no one to care for her three other children. Sablon says she's relying heavily on the support of the community to assist her and her daughter through this trying time. And while the community extends its generous support, Sablon notes that not one single politician has visited Dora. The only one so far, she says, is Congressman Gregorio Kalili Sablon's wife, who personally visited her daughter. And today, Saipan Representative Joseph Palacios is meeting with Guam politicians to extend their support. Guam practitioner Dr. Vince Akimoto tells PNC News that Guam experts will be sent to Saipan to visit Dora soon. So we had an important meeting today with uh, Senator uh, uh, Frank Blas Jr. and uh, Representative Joseph Palacios from the CNMI. Uh, they met in the hospital cafeteria to discuss these very uh, important issues regarding Saipan's hospital, which is suffering. Um, there's a lack of supplies. Um, patients, are, unfortunately, are there with very serious illnesses, and the, the medical services there have been dwindling over the last several months. So um, I think the representatives, the, the Senator Blas and Senator Pal uh, Representative Palacios, have agreed that there's there's a regional state of emergency here, a medical and humanitarian uh, emergency that we want to help uh, as much as possible. And so all these things are transpiring because of uh, patients like Dora who, uh, when we hear, heard about her story, you know, it touches our heart. The doctors there obviously are moved by the great generosity of the people of the CNMI to try to help one of their own. And so now the people of Guam, I think, are going to try to help as well.